Hi, everyone. Sean Gilliam here. Welcome to my podcast, Real Estate on the Front Range. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the monthly market update for September. I'll review all the most recent data uh, for Larimer, Weld, and Boulder counties. And then also, I want to highlight the inflation rate as well as what mortgage interest rates are doing and how the, all that plays into what's going on in our current real estate market. So stay tuned. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Real Estate on the Front Range, my podcast where I cover all things real estate here in the Front Range in Northern Colorado. Join me to get market updates, tips, and information on relevant topics to make sure you're fully informed before you buy or sell your next home. This is Sean Gilliam, your host, and I look forward to you joining me on Spotify, Google, Apple, or whatever your favorite podcast is for the latest episodes. All right, welcome back. Well, let's first take a look at what the inflation rate is doing. As you might recall in my previous videos, uh, the inflation rate was up to 9.1% uh, back in June of 2022. It's since been coming down and we got down to a low point of three uh, back in June, as you can see on this chart. Uh, but then it's starting to inch back up the last couple of months. It jumped up to 3.2 in July and now it's at 3.7%. Uh, for the inflation rate. So we'll see what happens here in the future and what the Federal Reserve is going to do. Are they going to raise those prime interest rates? Uh, or are they going to keep them stable? Whatever the case may be, we'll see what happens. But um, it is having an impact on our mortgage interest rates. They've been fairly high right now. They're at seven and a quarter percent. And, you know, it's one of those things where because of those high interest rates, the market is at a standstill. Basically, um, we're seeing people that uh, would normally be interested in buying a home and they're holding off. They're waiting for those interest rates to come down. Also, we're seeing sellers that have an intention of selling a home and then buying a home in this area or wherever they want to go. And they are holding off because they're waiting for those interest rates to go down. And bear in mind, a lot of sellers or homeowners have a, a very low mortgage interest rate. If they refinance or bought their home in the last few years, they're probably below 4% for their mortgage interest rates. So they're enjoying those lower payments and they don't necessarily want to sell a house and then go uh, pay money if they have to finance and pay those higher interest rates. So it's kind of causing, like I said, a standstill in the market. Everybody's kind of a wait and see what, what's going to happen to those mortgage interest rates. Now, I will tell you that if you do intend to buy a home or sell a home and then buy a home, pay attention to those interest rates because forecasters are saying it's going to get down into 6% or uh, some would even say in the 5% range. We'll see if that happens. Uh, but be ready. Have your ducks in a row so that if uh, those rates do drop and uh, when they do, that you're ready to do something because what's going to happen, there's kind of a built up tension in the market right now, kind of like what happened with COVID when everybody, uh, were, when the market stopped because nobody could go out and do anything because of the COVID restrictions. As soon as they ease those restrictions, it was gangbusters. Everybody came out and tried to buy a house. And so if you're looking to, to buy or sell, pay attention to those interest rates because as soon as they go down, things are going to get hopping pretty quickly and we might get back to that multiple offer scenario and, uh, it's going to be a tough one because you're going to have to pay more for a home and we're going to see those home values continue to increase. So uh, be ready, pay attention. If uh, you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. All right. So that's the inflation rate, the mortgage interest rate. Let's go ahead and take a look at the local market data here for Northern Colorado. Let's go ahead and get started with Boulder County. We're going to be taking a look at the comparison between last year, August 2022 and this year, August 2023. As you can see, the new listings hasn't changed dramatically uh, for this month. Uh, it's up 0.5%. The closed sales is down about 16.4%. And I think that's just indicative of, you know, there's just slower traffic overall. Um, part of that standstill in the market, as I mentioned earlier. Days on market until sale is 49. That's up 14% from last year at this time. The median sales price is at 795,000. That is down 5.6% from last year at this time when it was at just over 842,000. The average sales price is down 4.3% from last year. Currently it's at 1,050,000 and some change. And then last year at this time, it was at 1,097,000. So not a significant difference there. Certainly not indicative of anything happening in the market. In fact, it's more indicative of the fact that the market stabilized and uh, the numbers aren't moving that much, which is a good thing. Uh, the percent of list price received is 99.0% uh, compared to last year at this time when it was at 99.2%. The inventory of homes for sale is at 637. That's up 12.5% from last year at this time. 
when it was at 566. Part of that number is because homes are not selling as fast as they were. And so homes are sitting on the market longer and therefore those numbers kind of pile up a little bit. The month supply of inventory is at 2.9. That's up 45% from last year at this time when it was at 2.0. Again, that inventory is piling up. And, you know, I've mentioned this before, a balanced market is six months supply of inventory. So we're about halfway there. Uh, I don't know that we'll fully get there. We'll see what happens. That's all contingent on what happens with mortgage interest rates. But uh, again, when those when those rates come down, I think um, homes will be selling a lot sooner or, or more quickly just because people's purchase power uh, will be better and uh, the, the, more, the monthly mortgage payments will be lower. And so that'll bring a lot of people out of the woodwork into the market. All right, let's look at Larimer County here. And uh, for Larimer County, looking at the same metrics, the new listings are up 3.2%, not a significant change. So there's 554 new listings for August of this year compared to 537 last year. Our closed sales are at 433 compared to last year when it was at 488. So we're down about 11.3%. The days on market until sale is 53 days from the time a home uh, gets listed until it goes under contract. That's up 23.3% uh, from last time or from last year at this time. The median sales price is at 580,000. That's a small difference of 0.5% compared to last year when it was at $577,400. The average sales price also has not moved much from last year at this time. It's up 2.1%. So right now it's at about 653,000, almost 654. And that's compared to last year at this time when it was at just over 640,000. The percent of list price received is 99.1%. That's down 0.3% from last year at this time when it was at 99.4. And the inventory of homes for sale is 896. That's up almost 16% from last year at this time when it was at 774. And as such, our month supply of inventory is at 2.5, and that's up over 47% from last year at this time when it was at 1.7. Looking here at Weld County, new listings, 538. That's down 22% from last year at this time when it was 692. Closed sales are down 26.4%. So there's 376 closed sales in August of this year compared to 511 last year. Days on market until sale is 52. That's up 40.5% from last year at this time when it was 37. Homes were moving more quickly last year. The median sales price is 515,000 and that's up 4% from last year at this time when it was at 495,000. So not a significant change. The average sales price is 556,000. That's up 3.8% from last year at this time when it was at 536,000. So again, not a significant change. Percent of list price received is 99.5%, and that is down 0.3% from last year at this time when homes were selling at 99.8% of the original list price. Inventory of homes for sale is 958, and that is down 4.6% from last year at this time when it's at 1,004. And our month supply of inventory for Weld County is 2.3, and that's up almost 28% from last year at this time when it was at 1.8. So that is the data for Boulder, Larimer, and Weld counties when we're comparing this year to last year. And I think it's indicative that the market is relatively stable right now. Um, we're seeing that inventory creep up a little bit um, for Boulder and Larimer counties. It's about the same for Weld County. And again, that's just indicative, indicative of the fact that homes are staying in the market a little bit longer. And that's also indicative of the fact that buyers are kind of holding back. Homes are not selling as quickly. Um, we still do have a few homes that are in great shape and priced well that do sell uh, fairly quickly, but overall homes are staying on the market for a, a pretty good amount of time before they go under contract. I hope this information. All right, let's take a look at the month over month change in our local market. We'll start here with Boulder County. As you can see here, new listings uh, comparing July versus August. Uh, right now we're at 369 new listings for the month of August, and that's up 0.3% from July when it was at 368. The closed sales uh, for August are 249. That's down almost 17% from July when it was at 295. The days on market until sale is 49, and that's only up 4.2% from July when it was at 47. Our average sales price is 1050000 that's down negative 1.7% compared to July when it was at 1,068,000. And that's a very minimal change, not statistically significant. 
uh, based on what we're seeing in our market. The percent of list price received is at 99%, and that's up 0.3% from July when it was at 98.7%. So on average, homes are selling for a little closer to the original list price than they were in July. Inventory of homes for sale is 637. That's up 2.2% compared to July when it was at 623. And the month supply of inventory is 2.9, and that's up 7.1% from July when it was at 2.7. So I think if you look at the data uh, and the percent change, other than the, the number of closed sales, it, it speaks to stability. The market is not changing significantly from month to month. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Larimer County. We'll see that the new listings are down 1.1%. In August, there was 554 new listings compared to 548 in July. The closed sales are at 433, and that's up 13.6% from July when it was at 378 closed sales. Days on market until going under contract is 53, and that's up 5.8% from July when it was at 50. The average sales price is down almost 8%. So in August, it was almost $654,000 for a home on average compared to $708,000 in July. Percent of list price received is 99.1. That's down 0.4% when it was at 99.5 in July. And the inventory of homes for sale is at 896. That's up 2% from July when it was at 878. And our month supply of inventory has not moved much. For August, it's 2.5 month supply of inventory. That's up 4.1% compared to July when it was at 2.4 month supply of inventory. So not a significant change overall in these numbers. And uh, again, it speaks to stability in the market. Let's take a look at Weld County. New listings are down 1.1%. So we saw 538 new listings in August compared to 544. Closed sales is at 376. That's down 3.4% from what it was in July when it was at 389. Days on market until sales 52. That's up almost 4% from July when there were uh, homes were selling or going under contract after being on the market for 50 days on average. The average sales price is 556,000. That's up 2.1% compared to July when it was at 545,000. And our percent of list price received is 99.5. That's down 0.1% compared to July when it was at 99.6. Inventory of homes for sale is at 958. That's up 6.4% compared to July when there was 899 homes on the market. Month supply of inventory is at 2.3 and that is up 9.1% compared to July when it was at 2.1. So overall, I think these numbers speak to the idea that the market is stabilized. This is a good thing. It helps uh, things to be more predictable. I think that will change a little bit though. Like I said, when we get those mortgage interest interest rates down into the 6% range or even in the 5% range, I think we're going to see a lot of activity. I think what I would predict is that homes are going to be selling uh, at a higher percentage of the original list price. I think the average sales price will go up fairly uh, uh, steadily month to month. Days on market until sale will go down. I think we'll see an increase in closed sales as well as an increase or a decrease in inventory because homes will be selling off the market. Um, new listings will also increase just because sellers will say, hey, this is a good opportunity to sell our home and purchase a new one it will, as we'll have more purchasing power with those lower, lower mortgage interest rates. So those are just my thoughts on what uh, lies ahead. It all really, like I said, depends on what those mortgage interest rates will do. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. If uh, you need some help, some free consultation on getting ready to buy a home or sell a home, uh, always available. Glad to talk with you. You can reach me here at 970-313-6706, or you can wait till the end of this video and you'll see my contact information. If you like this video, if you find this information helpful, don't hesitate to subscribe and uh, you'll get updates when I have more updates coming out. I also produce other content uh, with information that is helpful to home buying and home selling. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.